What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, preparing to watch a death battle. If you're wondering why I don't have my webcam up, is because it's not working for some reason. Like, I mean, it does work, and my microphone works, but they don't want to work at the same time for some reason. Like, I start my webcam, and my microphone is muted automatically, so I gotta figure that out. But for now, let's just go without the webcam. I would have done a reaction to um, uh, some of the DBXs and One Minute Melees, if that was if that was working, but since it's deciding not to, my words are getting jumbled. Okay, so I was going to do webcam stuff and reactions to the one minute melees and DBXs that have been going on, but because the webcam issue that I just talked about isn't happening, that's why. So I'm just deciding to give up on the webcam for now and start with the death battle. So Ken versus Terry. I know a lot about Ken. I know nothing about Terry, but since it's a Street Fighter character. I'm assuming Terry's gonna win. Also, because something King of Fighters related came out recently, King of Fighters 14, in August, at the end of August. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a legitimate reason that they'll explain at the end, but this is why I'm guessing Terry's gonna win, because something King of Fighters related is coming out soon, and there's a Street Fighter character that he's fighting. It's just the way Death Battle rolls. <laughs> like I said, I'm sure there's a legitimate reason, but that's why I'm guessing. Three, two, one, go. Boom, 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 boom. This everything changes thing. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but I'm sure it's going to be interesting. I don't think it'll be anything like specific to Death Battle though. I think it'll be related to the entire channel. And why am I reacting to Death Battle? Because I like it, for crying out loud. And it finally wasn't spoiled for me. Because for some reason people get the idea that if I criticize it, and point out its flaws, then I automatically don't like it. I, I mean, I love Death Battle, and I can admit that Season 3 has been very lackluster and very mediocre compared to the previous two seasons. Like, I praise Season 2. Season 2 is amazing. Guts vs. Nightmare, Solid Snake vs. Sam Fisher, it was incredible. I loved Season 2 so much. There are a few stinkers like Yang vs. Tifa and Mega Man vs. Astro Boy, but for the most part, it was a, it was a really, really, really good season. And then for some reason, just because I don't like most of the fights in this season so far, people get the assumption that I can't stand Death Battle, which is completely the opposite. I mean, if you love something, you want it to get better, right? But in order for something to get better, you have to recognize the flaws so you can overcome them. I, that's only logical. But anyways, let's get to watching. It's a good thing they showed Ken first, because otherwise I would have been talking and rambling over Carrie's an, er, Terry's analysis. Who's Carrie? <laughs> Let me move my microphone a bit, and then I'll start paying attention. <laughs> the Shoryuken! Yep, there you go. Devastating rising uppercut, and Ken's so damn good at it, he can uh, set his whole damn fist on fire. Yes, Ken's one of my favorites. He can perform the Shinryu. I should use him in one of my shows soon. Not only is this attack engulfed in flame, it also creates a vacuum effect, drawing opponents in for multiple. You see, the thing about Street Fighter and versus debates is not only they don't lose in death battle. Only. They lose in almost every versus debate. Like, if you go to Cartoon Fight Club, <laughs> Ryu lost to Jin twice. And in my show, Ryu lost to Jin. In arcade mode, Ryu lost to Jin. And one minute in melee, he tied with Jin, but still didn't win. This is because the Street Fighter characters are very, very basic. Like, they don't have any outstanding attributes. They're mostly basic fighters with basic projectiles. So, if their opponent has any sort of uniqueness to them, they can win. So, I don't know, does Terry have anything unique to him? I gotta see. <laughs> the finger painting joke. <coughs> uh, I can't breathe. Alright. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just us Tekken. That's that's Tekken's entire gameplay. Just tossing people 15 feet in the air and then comboing off of that. Then there was his cage match against the claw wielding Vega, where he punched him so hard he completely reversed the guy's momentum after he leaped from the ceiling. 
<laughs> so after losing tons of blood from dozens of lacerations and with both of his feet broken and impaled. Considering much of oh, yeah, that's disgusting. the lower half of a person's body, <laughs> this is practically unbelievable. Talk about endurance. I can see how he got his wife. The guy's <laughs> to fall over a long lasting joke. Mud, Stamina. Get up more pissed than anything else. But when it comes down to it, Ken's strongest asset <sighs> is his conviction to win. Only made stronger when it comes to defending his friends. Though yep. he is pretty cocky, if he's feeling good about a fight, he'll sometimes just laugh at his opponents instead of finishing them off, leaving himself wide open. Still, yep. if you enter the ring with that's Ken that's how he's gonna die. I'm calling it now. Get burned. <laughs> like I said, going with Terry, even though I know next to nothing about him. Come on. Let's turn up <laughs> it's just from recent death battles that have taught me go for whoever's relevant at the moment. Was born with nothing to his name. Dude, he looks like a chick. He looks like a chick here. Stranded with his brother Andy, Terry grew up in orphan. Wow. Oh, that's just him as a kid. Okay, 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 I got it now. I was like, dude, he looks like a freaking chick. That was odd. Now that's a good dad. Well, until he got murdered. When he was only ten years old, Terry and Andy watched helpless. That's a rule. Fighting game characters must have at least one dead relative to become the very best. Vengeance, the brothers spent Except Jin. Jin seems to be fine. <laughs> I mean, his mom's missing, so technically, and he thinks she's dead, so technically it counts, but not really. Wait, geese? What? Alright, I should have been paying attention. Where'd the goose come in? As the years went by, Terry became an exceptional martial artist. Mastering boxing, karate, kung fu, and kickboxing. Hmm. He developed an impressive list of techniques, like the burn knuckle, a fierce punch Ooh. surrounded by energy. And the crack shoot, a jumping axe kick. Or nice. he just punch the ground so freaking hard, he makes a power wave, where he sends a deadly wave of energy through the earth towards whatever... Uh, Alright, now that's cool. I like that. Even after learning all of these, Terry knew he would need more to defeat Geese. Goose. Okay, Geese is a guy. Okay, now I get it. Okay, I'll start paying attention more. <laughs> I was just obsessed with how girlish Terry looked, and how he had to have a dead parent. <laughs> nice one, Boomstick. With your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! Like mm. turning his ordinary power wave into the monstrously titanic power geyser. Apart from that, his bust wolf <sighs> puts his burn So yeah, I I think Terry's gonna win. Terry definitely has this. So when Terry was ready to take Geese down, he figured what better way than All Ken has is Hadouken and Shoryuken. Those are the only fancy things he has. And in the end, he I mean the Tatsubaki's fancy too, but you're, it's, you're not going to see it pulling flames out of the ground. Earning Terry the nickname, the legendary Hungry Wolf. That's a badass nickname. Yeah. Although it turns out Terry didn't kill Geese hard enough, so he got to do it a second time. <laughs> not that Terry was too weak or anything. For example, in his fight with Jamin, he took a huge explosion in the back, got a car thrown at him, jumped up an elevator <laughs> as it was blowing up got blasted in the face with a wall of fire which smashed him into a concrete wall and answered by power geyser so hard he wrecked the factory he was standing on. Yep, Terry wins. Everywhere. Terry wins, just saying. With a good old Woo! And that guy jamming, he's fast enough to catch bullets. And strong enough to shoot them back. With his fingers. Not good enough for you? Well, how about the time Terry saved a co-worker from six falling eye beams? By smashing them one by one in midair. Nice. Keep in mind, a single I-beam is designed to support over 3,000 pounds of pressure. Mm-hmm. he took care of it so fast... I surprisingly knew that, because... I used, I used to be a... I used to want to be a construction worker. But then I remembered that I'm albino, and if I go out in the sun for three seconds, I'll turn into a bacon. So, yeah. Because I like Legos and Lincoln Logs and... All that stuff, so I wanted to be a construction worker. So I knew all this stuff. Ba 
bad voice acting. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, an advertisement. I have something to tell you about saving time and eating food. So, what's not to love? Yep. You know how it is. Researching characters and making them fight to the death is time consuming. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to go to the store and make my own meals, but I also don't want to doom my existence to fast food sugar addiction. Thankfully, Blue Apron changed all of that. For less than $10 a meal, Blue Apron sends me seasonal recipes with portion <laughs> ingredients to make delicious home cooked meals. Each meal comes Death Battle's with advertising for a cooking website. Or a recipe site. Only took about 20. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free. With free to be honest, that kind of looks gross. Just that mushy, uncooked sludge. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> My mother is really good at cooking, so I'm used to like super duper fancy meals. <laughs> Oh, rip, Dan. Again. Challenge me after some practice. All right, this animation looks really good. Nice. Ha! More tech and music. Jungle outpost. This is first in Jack and Dexter. Now they're playing it here. Jungle outpost. Tekken seven. The music. I want to beatbox to it so bad, but I need to watch the fight. Come on, man. Take this seriously. Come on, Terry. Even though I want Ken to win because he's super cool, I still predict you're gonna win. Terry, Terry, Terry. Oh, shockwaves. <laughs> Rip Dan a third time. First time from Hercule. Second time from earlier. Third time now. Oh, sure you can. There we go. I knew that was coming. Let's see. Come on. Oh, nice. I like that. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Rip, rip, rip. <laughs> He's just going to be ashes and then crumble. Nope. Oh. Ooh, knee in the crotch. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> KO. Bummer. Hey, I thought it was gonna go to like a whole second uh, half. Eliza's single now, right? Boomstick. You're saying what we're all thinking, Wiz. Both Ken and Terry had been fighting since they were children. Nice. I was right. Tournaments. However, Terry's sheer power proved too much for Ken to handle. Outside of tourneys, Ken's most notable victories were usually only possible because he had help. Sure, mm -hmm. Ken's taken down Zangief, Hugo, and Vega multiple times, who are extremely deadly in their own right, but they aren't nearly as heavy hitters as those on Terry's resume, like Krauser and Mars. Also, keeping up with hmm, it's all dark for some reason. Who can catch bullets, proves Terry nope, can not my browser. Twice the speed of sound. Much faster than anything Ken's ever shown. Man, when Eliza hears about this... She's gonna feel terrible. Oh. Is Terry Bogart. Oh. That pun. Ah. Oh. Next, Next time on Death, Death Battle. Battle. Sonic? Ew, Sonic X. Gross. Bet you're surprised to see me. Oh no. Oh boy. Woo! <laughs> okay. If it's DDD, I'm going to probably jump off of something really, really high. <laughs> uh, see you next time.